Hello everyone, Trooperhorn23 here, and today we're going to learn how to install scripthookv.net and native UI. So what these mods do is native UI essentially allows the game to pull up menus. Native UI is required for a lot of things that require menus. Um, there's a bunch of them out there, I'm not going to go into specifics. Scriptucv.net, this is different than the normal Scriptucv. That hooks .dll's files, that's why you need Scriptucv in order to run lspdfr. But Scriptucv.net, it essentially allows you to run scripts. And we're going to have to create a scripts folder, and a lot of mods use this. I personally use a lot of add-ons that require scriptucv.net. So the links are going to be in the description. Head on over to community scriptucv.net in the description and you're going to want to hit this green download button. It's going to bring you to a different website, this GitHub. You want to click on scriptucv.net version 3.03. .03. Now that's as of today. If you're watching this video like in 2021, obviously you want to get the latest. Once you click on this, you're going to see under assets right here, scriptucv.net.zip. Go ahead and click on this right here and it'll download right to your computer. The next link in the description is going to be native UI. When you click it, it'll bring you to this page and you just hit this download right here and it's going to say release and it won't have the parentheses one because I already have it. But drag both of those files out to your desktop like I have here. And you're going to want to go ahead and navigate to your Grand Theft Auto main directory. Mine is in my G folder. Remember, it's the one that d just says Grand Theft Auto 5, not dash copy or anything. Go ahead and go into here. And once we are in the main directory, we can go ahead and open scriptucv.net, the one that we just downloaded. And it's going to contain licenses, README, and a bunch of scriptucv.net. What you'll notice, though, is over here under type, this one is an XML. This one's an application extension another XML, another extension, configuration, and ASI. Now, this is extremely important. If you do not do this, then it will crash your game. If you drag every single one into your directory like that, it will crash your game. You do not want the XMLs. So, select this first application extension, press Control on your keyboard, select the second application extension, keep holding Control, and you want the ASI file you can drag in this configuration settings, but it's not required. So all you want highlighted is the ASI file and the two application extensions. You do not want the high to highlight the license readme or the two XMLs. So once you have these three highlighted, you can go ahead and drag them into your main directory like that. And they should all line up. And another important step, after you drag them in, go ahead and right click in your main directory and hit new folder. And you're going to want to name this scripts just like that and press enter and now you have a scripts folder this is where you will install scripts you can go ahead and close out of scriptucv.net.zip and um, open native ui and this is really easy just go into your scripts folder that we literally just created and drag both of these in here so now anytime you require a scripts folder for a certain plugin or mod you will have it and that is how you install scriptucv.net. If you have any issues, don't forget that I do have a community Discord where I have all my mods listed here in this channel. Uh, if you need any support, I have helpers and I'm always looking for new members. So feel free to join. And that's going to do it for today's video. There's no point in me going in the game and showing you because this does not do anything for the game. All it does is it makes it where you can use certain third-party modifications in the game. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.